everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is April and today I have a thrifted quick fix for you guys. So I just got back from Paris and before my trip, I decided to go thrifting for all the clothes that I wanted to wear there. And I'm going to make a whole thrifted or what I wore to Paris lookbook kind of thing because a lot of the things that I wore there, I did not buy brand new. It was either something that I already had in my closet or that I went thrifting for. And if I look really weird on camera right now, it's because I'm filming on my iPhone um, because the camera battery is dead. So the lens is like on this side, but I'm looking forward, you know? I went thrifting for clothes and some of the items were super cute and already fit me. And other items, they just needed to be fixed just a little bit. So the first item is a pair of pants that I thrifted from Japan. And these pants already fit me around the waist, I feel like. I mean, they could be a little bit tighter, but overall the fit is fine. And it's just that the length of it is too long, like just a little too long. I kind of want my ankles to show a little more. So for this first quick fix, I'm going to show you how to quickly shorten the length of dress pants. First, undo the hem and decide how much shorter you want the pants to be. I didn't need too much taken off, so I just trimmed the hem allowance. Next, if your pants taper towards the bottom like mine, you will need to straighten out the seam line at the bottom so that when you fold the hem up, everything is laying flat and is even. Then press the hem with your iron so that it's ready for hand sewing. I also searched the bottom of the pants to clean up the raw edges. Next, grab your hand sewing needle and some matching thread. Knot one end of your thread and then insert the needle behind the folded hem first so that the knot is underneath. Then I grab the smallest amount of fabric from the pants and by small I mean only picking up one or two threads. After grabbing some of the pants, I move my needle diagonally back down through the hem and then repeat diagonally back up to pick up the pants. You'll be moving in a zigzag motion and I spaced out each stitch about a quarter inch apart. Once you're done, on the right side of the pants, you shouldn't be able to see any stitching at all, especially if you use a matching colored thread. You might see some small holes from the needle, but if you press the hem with your iron, it should help close them up. The next quick fix is another pair of pants and it's actually part of a suit set but I didn't have time to really fix up the jacket to fit me better so I'm just going to show you guys how I made the pants fit my waist and I also did the same thing and shortened the length. I already like the striped pants so I thought for a quick fix I would create two pleats in the front by evenly folding each side until it fits my waist and sewing it down by stitching a box on top. I also cropped the length of the pants and rehemmed them with a blind stitch, just like how I did on the first pair of pants. Next, I thrifted this jacket a while back, so it's been in my closet, and I love the color of it, and I think the body of it, for the most part, fits me well, but the sleeves are just really baggy looking. So I'm gonna show you guys how to quickly take them in and taper them so that they can be a little more fitted. This jacket was easy to fix because it did not have a lining, so if you happen to stumble upon a thrifted jacket with no lining, 
opening where you can clearly see the seam down the arm and the side seams, then that's how you know that it's going to be more simple to fix. I decided on how much I needed to take in and just started from the bottom of the sleeves and blended the new seam into the original instead of undoing the hem. If you do need to take in more at the bottom of the sleeves, I recommend seam ripping the hem open first and re-hemming it whenever you're done for a cleaner look instead of just sewing over the hem. Overall, it's up to you, that's why it's called DIY, so feel free to do whatever you feel most comfortable with. After making my adjustment, I trimmed the extra fabric away and cleaned up the raw edges with my serger. Lastly, I saved this one for last because this was my first time doing this and I know a lot of you guys probably have this problem too when you find a shirt or maybe after you wash a shirt and it shrunk a little bit and now it is too tight around your arms or your shoulders. This is a little handy trick that you can do to any of your shirts. So what I'm gonna show you is how you can simply add a gusset, which is a, an additional piece of fabric that is inserted in areas that need um, more movement. This is my first time adding a gusset to my clothes, so I'm learning along with you guys. First, open up the underarm seam and side seam about three inches on each side. Try it on after the seam is open and decide if you need it to be open even more. Next, open the hole so that it's shaped like a diamond and take the measurements of the legs and how wide the middle is going to be. I made mine three inches wide in the middle. Once you have your measurements on a piece of scrap fabric, you can draw it out and add your seam allowance. This part will be trial and error, so after you cut out your diamond shape, pin it to the sleeve to see if it fits or not, and if it doesn't, just make some adjustments to it. For the actual fabric, I went to my fabric store and chose something that would blend in with the original print. However, if you have enough material from your dress or shirt to spare, you can go ahead and use that as well. Cut out two diamond pieces and like earlier, face it right sides together to the shirt and sew them together. I found it easier to sew one corner, backstitch, and then take the fabric out to readjust the fabric before sewing the next line. Sewing a gusset might be a little challenging for beginners. Even for me, I couldn't get the corners to line up with the seams. So just take it slow and don't be too hard on yourself if it's not perfect. Overall, sewing this little piece of fabric will make your shirt fit so much better whether you sewed it well or not. After sewing, I trimmed and clipped the corners a little to help it lay flat and you also want to press the seams with your iron. Lastly, I top stitched the diamond down for an even cleaner look. Here is the before shirt. And here is the after. I didn't think you'd see much of a difference, but it looks way more comfortable to wear. And I'm not scared that the seam is going to pop if I move my arms around.
right, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down in the comments if you guys want to see more thrifted quick fixes in the future. And like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I am starting to post vlogs on my second channel. So if you're interested in seeing other things that go on in my life besides fashion, then head over there and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!